from Camp Mother Cabrini Chippewa. <laughs> what are you doing? Making no, the bed. That's my bed. Oh, come I on. will no, fix Sally, it. Sally, you're making the eggs and the breakfast. Come hey, on. Hey, Rhoda, Please. I'm going to be out of your way very soon. You know, the guy said he'd be finished painting my place by Friday. Yeah? Well, I, listen, i got to tell you, you should relax. You're such a wonderful house guest. I don't care how long you stay. Oh, I do. I really miss my privacy. Oh, all right. <laughs> no, no, listen, you're a much better roommate than my ex-husband, Lloyd. You know, I can't figure it. You marry a pilot, a guy who could find Seattle in a fog, and he can't get his socks into a laundry bag. <laughs> okay, thanks. Push! Uh, uh. All right, got it, got it. Oh, I guess the eggs are ready. Where are the eggs? How should I know? I lost the eggs. <laughs> How do you lose eggs? Oh, wait, I didn't lose them. I remember. I put them on the bed. <laughs> How many of them were there? Four. Looks like more. <laughs> oh. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's all right. it's okay. No, it's not okay. What are you going to say to Abby Rents? I don't know. I'll take the offensive with them. I'll say, how dare you rent me a bed after renting it to chickens? <laughs> no, please, don't mess with it I now. I don't clean it after breakfast, girl. Come on. Listen, I don't even have time for breakfast. Why? I have a turnaround flight and leaves in an hour. Oh. You know, I'm really losing my mind. What, Sal? I can't find my mug off. Mug off? <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, you know, it's sort of like a tear gas thing. I always take it with me to protect myself when I'm in a rough city. Oh, like where? Anywhere. The population is a 90% Mormon. <laughs> I got it. Got it. It was right here next to my blush and glow. Oh. Perfect place to keep your poison gas. <laughs> It's very severe, Brenda. Well, it takes a little getting used to. <laughs> well, how's it look on the artificial light? More artificial. <laughs> well, maybe it's just a little thick. Maybe that makeup demonstrator at Bloomingdale's got carried away. <laughs> <laughs> well, I should have known I was in trouble when she asked for an assistant. <laughs> I don't know, Rhoda. I felt that woman really knew me when she said I had an oval face. You know, an oval is the best room. Yes, yes, but Brenda, that, you must realize, is a pitch, you know, a sales talk. I mean, I hope you didn't buy a whole bunch of makeup. Not a whole lot. She said it would be very, very easy. All I have to do is follow this map of my face. <laughs> this is the map of your face? Mm-hmm. Uh, for example, my forehead here. I start with a base coat of 22. Then I add 6, 9, and 11, and top it off with a touch of the 19. Yeah. It's, it's just like painting by numbers. <laughs> All of this, these five things, that's for your forehead? Yes, this is my forehead. <laughs> now, my nose, on the other hand, I start with the base coat of the 19. And then I add 12 and the 6 and 3. I'm like, Rona, I'm never going to be able to do all this by myself. And I have a date next week. <laughs> maybe, maybe if I just spray my face with Final Net, we'll see how long this can last. <laughs> I don't know. Yes. Hello, this is Carlton, your doorman. There's a guy in a uniform coming up to see you. And Carlton, what does that mean? A guy in a uniform coming up. Find out who he is. Hey, fella. Who are you? <laughs> Says he's Sally's husband. Go right ahead. It's apartment 6G. What? 
I didn't know Sally's ex-husband was a doorman. He is not a doorman. <laughs> oh, I should have known. He has wings on his uniform. He's an elevator operator. <laughs> Sorry to bother you, but are you an actress? No, no, I, I just have my face done at Bloomingdale's. Oh, I thought maybe Cabaret was in town. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm sorry to come over here like this, but uh, I stopped over at Sally's place and her doorman told me she was here. Yeah, well, she is. I mean, she, she's not here this minute, uh, oh. but she... Uh, well, we expect her any, any minute now, yeah. So uh, would you like to wait? Uh, maybe you'd like to sit down? Yes. Uh, well, please do. Sit. Thanks. <laughs> you probably know all about me. Oh, uh, what do you mean? Well, you're Sally's friend, right? Yes. She probably told you all about us. Well, not really, no. At least her side of it. Oh, no, 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 Sally's not like that. Didn't she tell you how we broke up? Oh, yeah. <laughs> what I needed to say is that perhaps she mentioned something, you know. What else did she tell you about me? Uh, nothing. Do you know, Sally hasn't said much of anything. Oh, come on. She must have told you about all those phone calls I got from other women. Uh, well, actually, I do vaguely remember something about that. Uh, all wrong numbers. I see. <laughs> at the time you called her Sandy by mistake. Hey! She wasn't a saint either. What about that dentist's business card that fell out of her pocket? What about the time you said you were going to be late for dinner because you were taking a stewardess home from the airport? I explained that too. I took a wrong road in Jersey, and I couldn't find my way back. Come on, an entire weekend. The traffic was heavy. I don't find out. Tell me the story. I'm sick of all this picking, picking, of... picking. I'm, I'm leaving here. You are. Go. Get out. Who cares? <laughs> um. By the way, I'm Rhoda Gerard. <laughs> Hey, uh, great pleasure to meet you, boy. Same. Yes. Yeah. Um, that's my sister Brenda, and uh, please sit down. Uh, yeah. Quick, him to the closet. What? Sally's on her way up, and you're in there with her ex-husband. It doesn't take Kojak to figure that one out. Carlton. You go in a closet. Why? Because I want you to. Okay. Uh, look, uh, Lloyd, you perhaps you want to be alone with Sally, huh? So yeah, we could like, go oh in. Oh, no, no, let's, we'll go down to my place. Better. I appreciate that. Look, uh, if you run into Sally on the way down, don't tell her I'm here. I want to surprise her. Okay. Guess who? Okay, okay. Just let me sit down. Yeah. 
Are you sure you're okay? I'm sure, I'm sure. You sure? I'm sure. <laughs> Look at you. <laughs> oh, how long have you had the mustache? A couple of months. Well, it's amazing. I mean, it really, really makes a difference. Yeah. Kind of makes me look taller, don't you think? <laughs> oh, Lloyd, get off that height thing, will you? I mean, all your life you've been worried about not being tall enough, and it never mattered to me. You're a tiny little man, accept it. <laughs> you just don't know what it's all about, do you? You don't know what it is to go through every year sweating out that airline height requirement. Honey, can't we just, you know, have a nice conversation without any hostility for a change? You're right, Sally. I didn't come here to, come here to fight with you. Good. So what did you come here for, huh? Well. What? Come on, what? Well, you know, I've been uh, seeing a lot of a certain girl. Yeah, I heard that. She's a nice girl. Of course. Of course she is. Her name's Sissy. <laughs> that I didn't hear. I would have remembered. She's talking about marriage. And I told her I wouldn't even consider it unless I got your permission to... Oh, Lloyd! Oh, that is sweet. Oh, honey. I'm touched. I really am. That is so considerate of you. But you don't have to ask my permission to get married again. Not to get married. <laughs> to cut down on your alimony. <laughs> to get off. Soap didn't work, the cold cream didn't work, but I finally got it off. Yeah, your face is glistening. What'd you use? Ajax. <laughs> I can't wait to talk to Sally. I wonder what's happening with Lloyd. I wonder what he wanted. Isn't it obvious? He wants it back. They're up there now, reflecting on warm past memories and toasting a new beginning. Brenda, you said that same thing the last time Joe came over. All he wanted was his fishing gear. Oh, come on, Rhoda. He didn't really want to go fishing. It was just an excuse to see you. Oh, then why are there 40 pounds of cod in my freezer? Rhoda, are you in there? Yes, Sal. Yeah, just a sec. Oh, yeah. So, tell us what happened. Tell Rhoda. I already know what happened. Well, he wants to get married to somebody else, and he asked me to take a cut in my alimony. Hmm. Not even close. <laughs> so, Sally, how do you feel about that? How do I feel? <laughs> I don't know how I feel. I feel... Uh... What's that smell in here? It smells kind of like a sink. Oh, it's my face. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I don't know what to tell Lloyd. So I just stalled him, you know? I told him to come back later. I don't know. The guy has a point. I mean, he's going to get married again, and he still has to pay me alimony, and I have a point, too. I'm bitter. <laughs> Come on, Sal. You're not bitter. I'm bitter. I know bitter. No, no, no. You shouldn't be, Sal. No, no. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, Rhoda. I know what Sally is saying. I mean, there is something where a man marries you, and he's supposed to take care of you, and you do all your wife's stuff, and then suddenly you're divorced. I don't think there's anything wrong with him giving you some financial support. Right. Well, you see, in a way, it's, uh, it's like an extension of a guy buying you dinner when you're dating. Guys buy you dinner when you're dating? <laughs> My point is this, Sally. If Lloyd is getting remarried, this is probably the last time you'll see him. Now, how do you want him to remember you? Bitter? I know I wouldn't want that. I mean, if the same thing were happening between, God forbid, Joe and myself, I'd want to go out classy. Classy? Yeah. I like that. Now, sure, you're right. That is very good. Mm -hmm. It would be nice for Lloyd to see how uh, together I can be, you know? Yeah. I think I'll invite him over for dinner. No, that's no good. My place is still a mess. Don't. Use my place. Oh, Rhoda. Sure, go ahead. Oh, thank you. Thank I, I will. You know what else I'll do? I think, besides inviting over Lloyd, I think maybe I could even handle meeting Sissy. <laughs> Who? <laughs> the girl he's going to marry. Her name is Sissy. Sissy? 
<laughs> Sounds cute, doesn't it? Not as cute as when she's married. Huh? Then she'll be Mrs. Sissy. Mrs. <laughs> <laughs> Sissy! I'll be out of your way, Sally, in just a few minutes. Now, is there anything you need before I go? Um, uh, no, I just have to chill these glasses. Okay. Ooh, can I have an olive? Sure. Oh, my God! <laughs> A gift from Joe. I thought for a minute you were dating Jacques Cousteau. <laughs> That's them. Wait, wait, please. I, uh, I gotta do something. I gotta calm myself okay, together. All right. Don't open it. Wait. Hi, Lloyd. Come on in. Hi. Sissy. Uh, well, she's not here yet. <laughs> I'm sorry. Excuse me. What's so funny? Forgive me for laughing, Lloyd, but that name, Sissy, <laughs> it just cracks me up. Rhoda isn't so hot either, you know. Yeah, yeah. You got a point, Lloyd. However, it's not a point that should be made by someone named Lloyd. Lloyd. <laughs> Why don't you just say so? No, 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 it's not that. It's just that uh, I've been looking all over for a rug just like this. Oh, hi, Lloyd. I bet you're wondering what I'm doing down here. No, I figured you took the lifts out of your shoes. <laughs> Have a very nice dinner, Sally. All right. So long, Lloyd. <clears throat> I wonder where Sissy is. I thought she'd be here by now. Well, maybe she's still at the airport. Oh, she's a stewardess, huh? Yeah. Listen, uh, there's something I ought to tell you about her, because you're going to find out about it sooner or later, and uh, there's no sense hiding it. She's a knockout. <laughs> well, listen, I can't tell you how happy I am for you, Lloyd. Really? Really. I can't tell you. I don't know what she sees in me. Lloyd, you're sweet, gentle, have a good heart, and she's a lucky woman. You know, it's not all as bright as I'm painting it. She has a hard time with uh, exclusive relationships. I caught her dating somebody else. The New York Jets. <laughs> It was a charter flight. They just won a game. There was a lot of champagne. But nothing happened. Not even with Namath. Nothing happened. Nothing happened. I believe that, Lloyd. I believe that. Boy, I wish I did. Hey, Lloyd, I think we're both avoiding, you know, what we came here to talk about, and that's alimony. Well, Sally, what do you think? Can you get along a little less? It would really help. Listen, Lloyd, you're not the kind of a guy who would ask for this unless you had to. So, uh, if you need it, you got it. Oh, Sally. Mm. Hey. <laughs> Lloyd, listen, a uh, handshake would have been enough. <laughs> Look, Sally, uh, you won't tell her about, uh, about what we're doing. Oh, no, come on, I don't kiss and tell. What do you think, huh? <laughs> Honey. Oh. Oh. I'm sorry we were so long opening the door, but we were kissing. Uh, I'm so glad you two girls could finally meet. Hi, I'm Sally. Hi, I'm Sissy. Yes. Boy, look at this. If the guys at the flight school could only see me now. Twelve feet of woman in uh, one lifetime. <laughs> Why don't you two girls sit down? <laughs> That's right. We don't want him to get a stiff neck. <laughs> you know, we really should get together sometime, because I'll just bet that Lloyd does the same things to me that he did to you. <laughs> I hope more often. Hey, uh, why don't you two girls stop talking shop? <laughs> yeah. I think I better check on our dinner. <laughs> Can you make it fast? I have to leave right after dinner. What are you talking about? 
Where are you going? <laughs> Lloyd, I thought we discussed this. If our relationship is going to be what we want, we can't question each other and know every little detail. Now, it's enough for you to know that I have to leave early so I can get dressed up, so I can go to the French embassy. <laughs> you have a date? Really, Lloyd? I don't have to answer all these questions. Sally, did he give you this much trouble? Uh, uh, look, I don't want to get into it. Oh, Sal. Okay. You see, I, uh, I don't feel that you should plan to uh, spend an evening with a guy that you're going to marry and then go running off somewhere. You don't do that to Lloyd. See, at least that's not the way I learned it. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Things were a lot different in your generation, weren't they? <laughs> Uh, Sissy, uh, you see, I, I promised myself this evening that I was going to be, uh, you know, sort of sophisticated and, uh, you know, I knew there were a lot of feelings and emotions here. I, I knew that I could say something I would regret, lose my temper. I don't want to do that, Sissy. So why don't, uh, why don't we just eat dinner and you two kids sit down, huh? Just okay. sit down. Fine. Okay. Oh, Sally, tell me, what was it like to fly planes with propellers? <laughs> Sissy, you like fish? Sure. <laughs> Eat up, Sissy. <laughs> oh, what a fitting dish for you to serve. Barracuda. <laughs> Listen, Sissy. I've been sitting here silently listening to you snipe at Sally since the second you stepped into this room. And I'm sick of it. So I suggest you stop it because I'm getting all steamed. Sure, Sally was surly too. So what? She's in a sticky situation. So why can't you be sympathetic instead of being so insensitive that you end up being so... I wonder what's going on up there, Brenda. It's got to be murder for Sally. I mean... And you know something? It's my fault that she's up there with those two. Oh, Rhoda, will you relax? Sally can take care of herself. I guess so. Rhoda! Sally, yes! Come in, come in. Oh, Sally, listen. Sally, I know it must have been rough. I know it must have been murder, but now it's all over. At least it's finished. You see what I mean? And it had to be done, Sal. I mean, you know, sometimes it's better just to cut it off, to end it. And I have met him, so forget it. You are much better off without him. They had a fight. The girl left. We have a date on Friday. <laughs> the guy is a winner. 